Okay, so right now in Starfield, we are completing the disruptions, right? So there is a mission where you follow the disruptions using a scanner. This is where it leads. So I haven't uh, ruined anything for you if you're going to play through to this point, of course. So I haven't uh, shown you where the disruptions lead and how to get here. So let's lead on now. We're at this temple and I'm going to show you what this is. So playing Starfield, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget there's more Starfield right here on the channel. I've done quite a bit. You should check it out. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, my companion at the moment is Sarah. Ooh. I, I, I'm going to open it. The temple. Eta. Or Eta. Or ETA. Estimated time of arrival. It look good. Now I have got my light on at the moment. The server's at the door. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what's going What's going on? Press Y to float up and B Notice to float how down. Is reacting to our presence. Those rings in particular. Oh dear. Sarah, what's going on? Yes. That's all you got. You just. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bye. Okay, bye. She's so bliss. <laughs> She's so chill. She's just like, yeah, yeah, we're floating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've lost control of our own uh, gravitational force and pull, but you know, it's, uh, it's fine. We're, just, we're space people anyway. No panic. Well, has it got something to do with the rings? Because that looks like what the uh, artifacts are actually building. I'm going to go to the center of it. I mean, if that was a real life thing, I probably wouldn't go to the center of it. Ooh, I'm in the center of it. Take out the light. I'm inside the rings. Okay. Kind of. There's a number on your eyes. Put the light back on. Alright, let's see if we can find anything. I'm going up. Changing my view. Okay, Sarah's floating up to the top. You having fun up there, Sarah? Are you okay? You look like you're okay. You look like you're having a lot of fun. <laughs> you just casually floating up there, chilling, aren't you? Okay, what is that? There's a thing. Right, let's go to the thing. Let's go to this anomaly here. Not sure what it did exactly. My controller did not rumble. There was no vibration on my controller, so... I mean, there was sound. Let me see carefully, here's another one. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. I am quite confused, but we will figure out what this- Ooh, there's a- there's a- There's symbols on it. Alright, oh, it's forming. Something's happening here. It's speeding up. It's accelerating. Dramatically. Oh, where's the other? It formed another. Let's go and get it. Right, there it is. See, it's beginning faster. I took my light off there yeah, because I need to. Wow, okay. Okay, I'll see you, Starfield. Sarah's literally standing right by it. I got it, sir. I got it. Well, floating by it. It seems to be giving it some energy. It's an energy source of some kind. Ah, there's the next one. powering up. I'm not sure what it is. We're gonna find out. 
I should go in the center of it. I'm gonna go in the center of it. Oof. I mean, what I was gonna say the first time I went in the center of it is if this was a real life situation, I would not get into those wings. <laughs> Might not come back out. <laughs> Definitely accelerating it, it's powering it up, it's giving it some juice. Let's get another. And another. Ooh. Uh server sometimes disappears. She's probably put it the top somewhere. Got a little bit of light to this thing now. So it's definitely doing this thing. Starts a gas, so going into the gas, maybe dispersing or being collected by the rings. like a an orbit inside it right now it's, it's like it's creating something so for some uh, context as to how we found this we spoke to Vladimir at the eye the eye is constellation sort of huge telescope which they use to find anomalies and other things of other points of interest planets and more why Vladimir was not at Constellation Headquarters because he was still doing that important work. And that is how you begin this quest line. Then you go to this planet where the disruption to the very big power source had been found. This is the power source. I think you need to scan out on this planet to locate its source. Ooh. Light inside it now? Or light reflecting? Off it. Trying to find the sources right here, there is no more. This thing is changing. Now I'm using Y to ascend and B to descend. And height. Altitude. <laughs> uh, this thing is definitely getting more juice. No idea where my companion is right now. She's vanished. Maybe she didn't want anything to do with it. I'm gonna use my scanner. Can't scan a thing. It's getting a bit louder, isn't it? Ah, next power source or gas. See that one? Put my light back on. Not sure what's going on here. We have alignment. The rings have aligned. Okay. I'm gonna go in. I'm that's my first initial thought. Uh wish me luck and I'll see you guys on the other side.
the message. Oh! Where am I? 200 XP. Equip a new power into the unknown. Was awesome! And I very rarely use that word for anything. We need to get you looked at back at the lodge. Uh, to equip new power, press the start menu, which I'm going to do right now. Say what just happened? All right, so uh, powers. Right, so uh, there's been some talk from people that have been playing Starfield and the community, and they said after a certain amount of hours, the game picks up. This, I think, is those hours. Right, so I've been playing it since uh, early release, early access. So let's see what powers are. Anti gravity field. Generate. A localized field of intense low gravity and behold a planet's true power toggle power names press an LB I've pressed LB it didn't do anything right so uh, selected that that power is now active cost 45 power total 60 power Press RB or LB to use your power, or it might be both of them. Right, I'm going to try one first. No, that's, of course, that's the uh, scanner, isn't it? LB. Um, and of course, that's my uh, fragmation mine, so it's going to be both of them at the same time. <laughs> Silly of me. All right, so LB and RB together. What's going on? What is he doing? I have no idea. Where are we? Uh, oh, oh, Sarah, 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 come here. Have we, have you, do you, I, uh, you, yeah, okay, you've got nothing. She's got nothing. She's got nothing. Um, <clears throat> let's scan and see where we need to go. All right. So, you have powers? Right, return to the lodge. What planet are we on? We can't be on the same power planet if you're saying... Star map. Also, this system looks awesome with the blue sun, by the way. Blue sun looks so cool. Look at that. Right, okay. Uh, it's telling me to go back, but I want to explore here first because it was so dark on this planet before. Uh, so I'm outside the temple. I just realized where I am. That's why it, so, it felt so driving like we were somewhere else. The planet was completely shrouded in darkness uh, when we were scanning those disruptions. So after you scan the disruptions and go to the temple Eta or Eta, you get a power. And the artifacts look like. Um, Look like it was made of the same material as artifacts. This is cool. Right, so I've already surveyed most of this plant well, I've surveyed 46%. Could survey some more unexplored oh, no, geographical feature. Geophysical feature. And there is also the unknown here. So I'm gonna journey into the unknown. <laughs> as the next mission is called Into the Unknown, which you can see on the top left. I'm not covering it, my camera is on the right. Right, so, that's part of the reason why I've changed the position of my camera here. Let's, let's get a move on to that location there. How far was it? Ooh, 800 meters away. I can get there quite fast, to be honest, because my... Uh, Weightlifting perk is completely. Let's try the anti gravity thing then. Oh, hold up. Does it um work on creatures? All right, so let's let's have a look. Let's have a look here. I'm gonna use it on. Wrong thing. <laughs> Wrong thing. Also. Took up the right weapon for the job. 
Stop doing that. I <laughs> keep pressing the wrong button. Come back to me. Don't need you to share. Have I scanned this creature before? Yes, I have. But let's try our new superpower. Oh. How often can I use it? What? Right, so I. Oh! Oh! Hello! Oh! Hello! It's a whole herd. Thank you for the backup, there, sir. I needed that. <laughs> She's getting fired up. Uh, vital fluids. Okay, I'm going to take these vital fluids from your know, structural food. I don't want to carry too much, to be honest. I uh, don't need all of it. I don't have a membrane. I'll tell you that. I don't know what I just picked up there. Okay, alright. Okay, we're good. We're good. Where was we off to? We could go back to a lodge. I'll just quickly go into the anonymy. Anonymy. First. Because we got... But if we go back as well, actually, it won't be. It would actually be beneficial for you guys, because you'll be able to watch all the way through. I know some of you struggle with that. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back. I don't see any more foes. I go. I mess it around. Got like the anti-energy. Sarah, are you okay over there? You were good. You were good. I think I can use my superpower now. So on the way back to our ship. I can always come back to that anomaly. See what it is. No problem. Take off my scan mode. I don't need that. So I got a new superpower. Starfield baby. Base Adapt Equinox. Be useful. Let's head back to our ship now. 100% scanned. Don't need to scan you guys. We have to do this. I got power. What are these things? Okay. One XP. What a waste of bullets. <laughs> I need the XP though, to be honest, because I want to upgrade my power once we find out how to at the lodge. Let's gun some more things on the way. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with surveying the planet on the way. That's always something that you can do as well. It helps, uh, you know, with your collections and what you're doing with your crafting and all that sort of thing. When you come back to the planet, you know exactly what you're doing. Resource fiber scanned. Some plants you need to get really, really close to before you can scan them. I love the running animation. Like when I'm running, it's, it, it it feels so much better than uh, previous games in this genre. Scanners. Eighty-eight percent of those scanned. This gas here is argon. You can see the periodic table elements of it. And I can scan this as well. All right, here's my ship. Did a bit of scanning on the way back. All right, let's get on the way. Time for takeoff. Captain Anthony, ready to take off? I think we've had a bit of an adventure here. Anthony, it is pleasant to see you. Uh, you sounded a little bit reluctant there to try and sound human. All right, let's uh, let's first board. Might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Whenever I'm lost, I think 
What would you do in my shoes? Not literally, though. I've got small feet. Yeah, I dig it. Well, I decided to also change something about my wares. Go to my constellation suit. If I hover over my. Oh, it's gonna sell the very uh, Varun spacesuit because it's worth 10,000 credits. <laughs> right, so in settlements, I want to hide my suit and I want in breathable areas for my helmet to also be hidden. You can do that by hovering over the item and pressing RB. See, I'm in a breathable area now, so my helmet is no longer on. It does help if you want to be able to show off what you're wearing and stuff like that, you know. Right, okay, so uh, take off, all systems go. Are we ready? Okay, pressing Y. Let's take off. Off we go. We Okay, we're up in the air. Well, we're up Stay out of the atmosphere. Oh, just we're in orbit of this planet. <laughs> yeah. See, there's a bit of debris. This planet outside of the, uh, you know, someone's been dumping the garbage, aren't they? But because it's just, this is still the frontier, I'm gonna get straight to Alpha Centauri. He's in a grab drive. Grab drive is fully powered. Well, it's not fully powered. Right, so we've just done a grab jump. We're about to get to Alpha Centauri, where we need to be to get to back to the lodge. Just like you. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Don't have any contraband. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Thank you. I will, of course, you already know this. Open up the planet map. Alright, so I'm gonna go straight to the lodge. And the lodge is located in this direction. This is where the lodge is going to be. It's top one. Landing. So landing straight away, doing a little bit of a quick travel, go straight to the lodge as opposed to running around um what's the place called? Uh Jensen. Uh so we're just gonna go straight to the lodge now. And we're going to find out what that power is that we have just unlocked in Starfield, man. What is it? I've got a new power, anti-gravity, going on. And that's like, yo. It's, if you've played Skyrim, you know that, the shout you. sort of thing. You have things for me. You collect flowers and plants for me, don't you? Something you need? Uh, yeah, do you have some, uh, have anything interesting for me, Sarah? Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Oh, what you got? You gave me a metabolic agent root. Oh, so you basically picked up what I left behind. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're so cute. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go. We're home. Back into the lodge. Every time I return here, I'm reminded of the importance of Constellation's contributions to exploration. Are you saying that just to try and guilt trip me? Or are you just saying that because you actually feel passionate about it? I think it's a bit of both. Alright, come on, let's go. Dudes, I got powers. Hey, Vladimir, what are you doing off the eye? Krix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. Hmm. It was a building, like a temple. Vlad, it gave me powers. Powers. <laughs> whatever bring, whatever beings made the artifacts sure love their puzzles. I'm gonna be like, Vlad, it gave me powers. Powers. What in the blackest sea are you going <laughs> What did it do to you? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a demonstration. <laughs> Mind putting the paces to it? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. You want you want me to show you the you guys want to see my powers? Do you guys really want to see my powers? Put your hand up if you want to see my powers. Ooh, ooh. Put your hands in the air. Ooh, ooh. If you just don't get Okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay, you're not ready.
Everyone saw that, right? <laughs> He's still going. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. Ah, thanks. Thank you. Uh, it was the temple. It did this. I'm going to use this everywhere. <laughs> we need to keep this under wraps. No one can know. I'm going to be like, it was the temple. It did this. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. Mm-hmm. More questions than answers. Hey, anyway. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. That is another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Okay. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. Right. And even then, it takes time. Hmm. I'll follow up on the anomaly you found. Hopefully it's another temple. Hmm. Or, so you can't just find all the temples for the artifact we already have. Other planets might have gravitational anomalies. Could I just search for all of them? You think there's one temple for each artifact? That's a good question. It's a strong theory. Couldn't find that planetary anomaly without the data from the artifact. We'll need one to find the other. Okay, that's really interesting. Need to know that. So we need to find more artifacts and each artifact will have a temple. So how many powers have you got in this game then, really? Right, other, other planets might have gravitational anomalies. Could I just search them all? Like, you know. You'd still need to cross-reference the artifacts we have with the data to... from the eye to pinpoint the source. Good to have you back here, by the way, Vladimir. Like you just, I, I like your accent. All right, all right. So you just can't find all the temples for the artifacts we already have. Good question. Not all at once. You'll need to take the home voyage after you found each one. Should hopefully have more potentials for you then. Okay. I'll follow up on the other anomaly you found. Hopefully, it's another temple. Don't think it's just fortunes left that this temple responded to you. Okay. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Oh yeah. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. You gave me 9,500 credits, just got an achievement as well into the unknown. And the map has been updated with the next anomaly, and you guys are awesome. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory, isn't it? They're starting to liven up, aren't they? Okay, alright, sure. clearly everyone was impressed with that. So was I. Hey, yo, um, I don't even know who to talk to first. <laughs> yo. If you enjoyed that, it's giving me another notification that I've got the achievement. If you enjoyed that, I did. 100%. Just give me that thumbs up because we're going to get some more powers right now. And I'm going to do another gameplay where I'll go and unlock another power. And you're going to be able to view it right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Heck yeah, I'm getting straight into it. <laughs> See you in the next one. Don't underestimate Starfield.